Imagine if his CEO was your brother. Would you still go ahead with your party? The word of God says that we should mourn with those who are mourning and then we should celebrate with those who are celebrating. As we all know, the former CEO and MD of Assets Bank, Mr. Ebes Bigwe, and four other people close to him, that's his wife, his son, and his close friend, Mr. Abimbola Ogubanjo, died recently on their way to the Super Bowl in the United States. What brought me here is, as believers, we need to abide by what the Word of God says. And so my condolences to all the families involved. We know from what is circulating on social media and within Christian circles that the late CEO belonged to the redeemed Christian church, more specifically, the city of David Church in Lagos. And coincidentally, when he died, I would say the mother of the church happened to celebrate a 60th birthday during uh, the morning of Mr. Migwe's passing. This did not settle well with the family. I'm not really uh, here to judge anyone, but I'm just here to emphasize what the Word of God says. The mourn with those who mourn and celebrate with those who celebrate it. The late CEO contributed significantly to the church using his connections and his financial position to help establish the church became quite surprising for people to see that the pastor's wife or the mother of the house going ahead to celebrate her birthday people felt it was not sensitive and i think i agree with the family of the late ceo that the church did not honor and did not respect their son as africans as christians we are supposed to stand by each other some people said the celebrant uh, gave a minute of silence or acknowledged a minute of silence to the late ceo but i think that's not enough imagine if his ceo was your brother would you still go ahead with your party the lesson here is that do not do anything to please man you want to do everything just for God. So I hope Mr. Bigway's contributions and supports for the church were done genuinely for God but not to please man because man will disappoint you. Secondly, as Christians and believers, we need to continue to express our empathy towards one another. Let's live by the word of God. Mourn with those who are mourning support those who need our support these celebrations these anniversaries can always be rescheduled but death can never be reversed you can always postpone that party and always celebrate that party for you to prove to the family that indeed you cherish their son who dedicated his life and his financial resources and connections to help the body of Christ. For me, what is more important is the people that were present, more specifically, the musicians that were invited to the party. We go all see Flavor. And Flavor, for those of you who don't know, he's a secular Nigerian musician. He was invited as one of the main artists for this Christian birthday party he was on the altar of god singing secular songs and you could see church members including the pastor's wife dancing to it i'm not judging anyone but can you imagine someone like dr lukoya or the general superintendent of the assemblies of god church asking davido or whiskey or shatawale to come to their church to sing secular songs on the altar of God. That was what really got to me. 
that we cannot share the altar of our Father in heaven with people who have identified themselves as secular musicians. I cannot share the altar of God with someone like Beyonce. No, it won't happen. So why would a woman of God, a man of God, part of the redeemed church, bring a secular Christian to mount that same altar that we've been praying on every single day. I don't know what you're saying, but leave your comments. But that was just my observation that really, really caught me. So once again, I agree with Mr. Ebed Uigwe's family and any reasonable person involved in this situation. May God bring us peace. May we continue to work in the wisdom of God in these crucial end times. In the name of Jesus. Thank you and I pray that we live in the peace, the wisdom, and the grace of God so we can differentiate ourselves from the world. Amen. Who am I that the maker of heaven would love me and know me by name?